Facing fire, not getting lighter See the light getting brighter My eyes can comprehend the future ahead
This week's topic is about the touch of greatness. And for today, muli po nating bibisitahin or muli po nating aalamin yung mga powerful meaning behind the prayer of Jabez. But before that, nais ko pong i-welcome ang bawat isa sa ating 3pm online devotion and prayer. Kapatid, you are a blessing to your family. Always remember that you are a blessing to the people around you, to the CIF churches where you belong, at sa mga pastors. You are a blessing. And do not let the voice of lies tell you otherwise. Kaya nga po, sa hapong ito, before we start sa ating 3pm online devotion, nais po natin gawin yung ating 5 acts of faith. So come on, just push that heart button and i-comment mo kung nasaan ka at kung sino kasama mong nanonood. Pangalawa, let us tag and pray. Huwag po natin kakalimutan yung praying part that when we tag that name, ay ikiklik niya yung link at mapapanood niya ang broadcast natin and she or he will be encouraged for sure. At meron po tayong CIF TV, ang ating YouTube channel. Kung hindi ka pa po nakapag-subscribe, please do subscribe at kung nakasubscribe ka na, magpasubscribe po tayo sa ating YouTube channel. And if you are... Find the, if you find in your heart to give and God is touching you to give and bless the ministry, you can freely do so. Naka-flash po sa ating screen ang atin pong mga bank accounts, ang atin pong mga online channels upang ma-transfer po ninyo ang inyo pong um, gifts sa ating pong church. So maraming salamat po sa pagsama niyo po sa atin at sa paggawa po ng ating five acts of faith. And today's topic is descending to power. And I want to give you a scenario. You received the challenge to pray for prayers na bold, gaya ng prayer of Jabez. Pinagpray mo, maaaring pinagpray mo that you want to have the high-paying job. You want to um, to have the loan na matagal mo nang inaplayan to get approved so that you can buy the the house or the kotse na pinagpipray mo or maybe you have been praying for your um, primary 12 na makompleto or to have your own cell group finally but dumating yung point na na feel mo na you are overwhelmed and parang this is too much for me na experience mo na yung ba yung ganong klasing pakiramdam or napunta ka na ba sa ganong klaseng sitwasyon na pinagpray mo nung dumating na overwhelmed ka? Kung na-experience mo na yun, comment ka naman sa ating um, comment box. Kung na-experience mo na yun at kung ano ang ginawa ng Panginoon, ano rin ang ginawa mo upang malagpasan mo yung ganong klaseng sitwasyon. When, the, when believers find themselves in that situation, new territories, uncharted borders, di ba? Kasi we've, we've, we've prayed for that bold prayers eh. So, pinunta tayo ng Panginoon doon sa lugar na hindi familiar sa atin. We know it in our hearts, pero iba pag nandoon ka na, doon sa situa situation na ito na yung binigay ng Panginoon, ito na yung pinagpipray natin. Very bold prayers, it's it's um in our very eyes. Sometimes, and at most, at most times, we feel afraid. We feel abandoned. Yung feeling mo walang nag-guide sa'yo. And sometimes a little angry na this is too much for me. At yun po yung normal na feeling when we are in that unexpected or of course you're expecting it kasi you've, we've been praying for it. But yung we, we don't know eh. We, we don't know what's really in it hanggat wala pa tayo doon. Kaya tayo, nung dumating tayo doon sa, doon sa sitwasyon na yung binigay sa atin ng Panginoon, we feel that it's overwhelming. Hindi natin alam kung ano yung um, gagawin natin. We are overwhelmed. Um, sapat ba ako dito sa blessing na binigay ng Panginoon? And I want to, to start this with a little story, with a little true story from a man na nagmi-minister. He prayed for bold prayers, nag-open ng doors for that opportunity and before his very eyes nakita niya yung mga pinagpipray niya however he had this feeling in his mind in his heart that he is not qualified sa mga blessing ng Panginoon so one day he asked um from a trusted older man 
na ano ba tong nararamdaman ko? Bakit ganito? Na pinagpray ko to eh. Alam ko na mangyayari to. I I've been praying for this. I've been crying for this and I've been expecting for this. But there is a feeling doon sa lalaking ito na parang hindi siya qualified doon sa mga blessing. And tinanong niya yung kanyang trusted old man na, na counselor. Sabi niya ganun, bakit ko to nararamdaman? Can you explain to me why am I feeling this way? At ang sagot ng counselor, to quote, that feeling you are running from is called dependence. It means you're, 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 you're walking with Jesus. And actually, the moment or that you're not feeling dependent is that when you've backed away from living by faith. So, sabi nga nun ng lalaki, ibig sabihin, this is the feeling that I am feeling na hindi ko kayang gawin is what I am so, supposed to feel. At ang sabi ng counselor, yes. When we are blessed by God, we know how big the blessing is. Kaya nga, bold prayer siya. Alam natin na malaki to. Alam natin na um, this is something that we have been praying for. Malalaking mga bagay, malalaking mga um, malalaking mga pangarap ang ibinigay ng Panginoon sa atin. But there is one thing that we should also expect that the moment na tayo ay binigyan ng mga malaking bagay ng Panginoon, failure is guaranteed unless God steps in. Yung mga bold prayers natin na, binig, na binigay natin sa Panginoon during our prayer time, ito yung mga karakteristik niya. Usually, they are against our common sense. Isa po sa mga um, bold prayers na ginawa ko during, during my uh, pre um uh, sa akin sa akin pong before I, I I delve into the calling is that to resign for my job and it's against the common sense of everyone unless sa mga, uh, uh, unless may mga tao nakakaintindi or doon sa mga tao nakakaintindi talaga that um the calling is a higher calling it's against the common sense one time may may nagsabi sa akin you can still work while doing the ministry but I've been there eh nandun na ako sa sitwasyon na yon. and God is asking me to do something or leading me to to somewhere na against my common sense so the our bold prayers isa sa mga karakteristik niya it, it is against our common sense and it contradicts to our life experiences sometimes yung, of course yung mga experience natin before hinanda naman tayo ng Panginoon doon para doon sa ating katawagan Pero, pag nandun tayo sa mga bagong territories, uncharted territories na binigay sa atin ng Panginoon, it contradicts our life experiences or yung mga previous experiences natin. Sometimes, hindi na natin nagagamit doon yung ating mga, uh, yung ating mga, yung ating mga experiences. Another thing is, it, it disregards the feelings, the trainings, and the need for security. Means, uh, most of the time, pag tayo po ay tinawag ng ating Panginoon at binigay na yung ating mga bold prayers, yung nadidisregard na yung feelings natin. Nadidisregard yung training na dinaanan natin. Yun nga, it contradicts to our previous life experience and our need for security. Ang comfort zone natin, that's the most um, dangerous place eh. Kasi we cannot move if we are we are in our comfort zone. Kaya pag tinanggal tayo ng Panginoon sa ating comfort zone, yung security natin na titreten. At we have to expect that when we know that God will give us the bold prayers. And another characteristic ng mga ng ng bold prayers na yon when when God is given is is giving it to us is that it is it is it looks like a setup na magmukha tayong fool and loser. Yet, it is God's plan for us. It is God's plan to its most honored servants. When we pray the prayer of Jabez, oh, that you, you'd had, you'd, your hand would be upon me, we are releasing God's power to accomplish His will and bring His glory through seeming impossibilities. Mapapansin po natin at first, no, si Jabez hindi niya pinagpray agad yon. 
maaring hindi pa niya kailangan yung prayer na yon. Everything is manageable. Um, kayang-kaya pa niya in his life experience, in his skills, in his trainings, kayang-kaya niya pa yung mga dumarating sa kanya. But when, this is beautiful, but when the kingdom task, kingdom-sized task has been given to us, Jabez knew, we knew, we will know, we need the hand of God. We are surrendering to God that we cannot do it and we know that we are calling the greatness of God to touch to touch us it is not it is not um, about being us na maging great but mama, makita yung dependence natin sa ating Panginoon and that His glory will be, will be revealed when we surrender our needs There comes the unlimited opportunity and He becomes great through you and me. And that is one of the greatest thing na pwedeng natin ma-experience sa ating Panginoon when God's greatness has been shown, has been manifested through us. So my question is, are you ready to pray? the prayer of dependence to God, oh, that your hand would bless me. I invite everyone to pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for today. We thank you, Lord God, for your goodness, for your love. Lord, make our hearts ready for that prayer, oh, that you would bless us, and or that, that your hand, Lord God, will be upon us. Make us ready, Lord God, for the... Um, to be dependent to you. Make us ready, Lord, by, by being surrendered to you, Lord God, completely. We are ready for the blessing that you have given unto us, for the kingdom-sized blessing, for the kingdom-sized prayers, for the kingdom-sized, Lord, provisions, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everything that you have done to us, for everything, Lord God, for the equipping. We thank you, Lord God, Our, the waiting for these bold prayers is creating in us this feeling of this um, surrender, surrendered heart and surrendered mind. We continue to pray, Lord, for our pastors. We continue to pray for IPHC and PPHC pastors, bishops, missionaries. We thank you for their lives. Kung hindi po dahil po sa kanila pong mga buhay na inalay nila sa inyo, kung hindi po nila tinanggap ang mga kingdom size task or calling na binigay nila sa inyo. Wala po kami dito ngayon. We thank you for their lives. We pray for the unity. We pray for the direction. We pray for the fire of the Holy Spirit to be upon them. Our G12 international leaders, Lord, continue to give them, Lord, the kingdom-sized um, ministry, Lord, that their hearts will be fully surrendered unto you as we continue to, make, to win souls and make disciples. We pray for our CIF pastors. We pray for Bishop Gani and Pastora Tess. For, for all the CIF pastors, Lord. We pray for them every day. We pray for their protection. We pray for their um, provisions sa mga churches ng CIF. Thank you, Lord, for giving us, Lord God, a surrendered heart. That yes, we are ready for your hand to, to be upon us and th that we are ready to surrender everything our our secure our the need for security our um common sense lord we surrender it all to you and we receive the supernatural um provisions sa mga churches lord sa mga um sa mga prayers po namin sa mga um, mga bagong transition sa mga bagong season ng bawat churches ng bawat mga pastors lord Marami pong salamat, Panginoon, dahil binibigyan niyo po kami ng puso na talagang nakalok, talagang um, fully surrendered sa iyo, Lord. Yun po yung kailangan namin so that we are ready for the blessing. We pray for your provision sa mga CIF churches. We pray, Lord God, sa patuloy mo pong pagkilos sa mga may sakit sa mga oras na to in the name of Jesus. We pray for them. We pray for Pastora Diana. We pray for... Um, 
Brother Nemesio, we pray, Lord God, sa mga kapatid po namin na nagta-type ng names right now in the name of Jesus. We pray for healing for them, Lord God. We pray for uh, Sister Eileen, Lord. We pray, Lord God, sa mga merong karamdaman, sa mga oras na to, sipon, ubo, whatever it is, we apply the blood of Jesus. And thank you, Lord, we receive the healing, Lord. We pray for the Philippines. Thank you, Lord God, because the Philippines is in your hands. Salamat for um, protecting us, Lord, sa mga batas na hindi po nakakalugod sa inyo. Thank you, Lord, for giving us a righteous leader. Thank you, Lord God, for the wisdom, Lord God, to choose. Thank you, Lord God, dahil pagpapalain mo ang bansang Pilipinas. We also pray, Lord God, for, um, for, for, uh, for Israel, Lord God. Ang bayang ito, Lord God, ay inyo pong pinagpapala. Ang bayang ito ay inyo pong pinuprotektahan. Ang bayang ito, Lord God, ay inyo pong pinili. Panginoon. Marami pong salamat sa hapong ito. Salamat, Lord God, that we can come to you with confidence, with boldness, with prayer, that may your, your hands be upon us, Lord. Lord, we just bring back to you all the glory and all the honor and all the praise. In Jesus' name, Amen and Amen and Amen. Magandang hapon po muli sa bawat isa. Ito po si Pastor Angel Gang, kasama po ng aking asawa ni Pastor Mark na naglilingkod mula po sa CIF, irigat sa CIF Balatan. Pagpalain po kayo ng ating Panginoon. God bless you po.